destroy them all. Welcome to Gamers Pack, everybody. I have a special, nice, cool game for you guys to check out. The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing. We're in the third one, and I am joined by Victor and Linda, so make sure you guys check this game out. I cannot wait. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. Thank you. So, Thank you very much. So we're talking about the third game, and I played the first game. Unfortunately, I couldn't play the second game because I just got to see what the second game was about. But I fell in love with the first game because it looked phenomenal. We're, I'm playing a Van Helsing game. Uh, it's just, wow. And now we're here in the third one, and there is six new classes that are going to come up. And, you know, before we get started with that, of course, for the people who don't know what Van Helsing game, what the Van Helsing game is, can you tell them what it's about? Um, the Incredible Adventures of Van mm -hmm. Helsing trilogy, three action RPGs focusing on the adventures of the legendary monster hunter, Mr. Van Helsing. Um, set in a universe that it's more like an alternative version of the late 19th century Eastern Europe where magic and monsters and weird science, mad science is real. Mm -hmm. So this is the core of the trilogy. Oh, this is basically that's it and whatnot. For this is basically the end of the trilogy right now, the third one. And let's get let's just get to the meat of it. This is based the. This, classes. I saw the trailer for the classes and I, I can't even talk. I'm excited. I can't I can't talk because I'm so excited. They're, they introduce uh, they're gonna they introduce four classes right now. They can't tell me about the other two classes so I'll give them that you know just, just for later. Sorry but for that. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> but we have the first four classes you guys introduced the um, uh, you have the umbralist, the elementalist, you also have the protector and I can't look like it's near. I can't even pronounce it every time I look at it. But oh, yeah. can you tell me about I, those I four classes? <laughs> yeah, he, he, he has the responsibility for that. I'm responsible for the classes. For the I'm just responsible <laughs> for the names. Um, Phlogiston was the uh, was a fictional, uh, really flammable material mm -hmm. that people believed to exist for a very long time. Right. So this is why the Phlogist the Phlogiston. See. I have problems with it as well. <laughs> it's always always better in writing. So, um, for example, the Phlogistoneer is a hunter dedicated mm -hmm. to the uh, mysteries of weird science. So he's basically a hunter sitting in a steampunk exoskeleton right. with some flamethrowers attached just to be on the safe side. Um, all the other classes have similar uh, advantages and well, sometimes disadvantages because you can't uh, have everything. Um, just like you've mentioned, the protector. Uh, the protector is a melee character. Mm -hmm. he, will, he has abilities to um, to make him able to charge into the melee to deal out terrible amounts of damage. Um, we also have the elementalist, for example. He's a a mage type character, but the but uh, the focus well. He will focus on the forces of nature, so uh, summoning firestorms, lashing out with thunderbolts. Um, he's more like a ranged character, so unlike the protector, you don't want him to get caught in the middle of a mob. Right. So this, this is this is something that we that we were really really um, adamant to do to create six new classes that look different. They have all different. They all require different gameplay tactics, mm -hmm. and they all have well, a whole wide range of skills and abilities, uh, special special abilities uh, to choose from. So you can really customize them as you see as you see them fit. It's really a whole lot of possibilities opening up. Yeah, you mentioned skills and abilities, and Linda, she, she showed me the. The, the whole skill set and whatnot for both the protector and the elementalist just now. Linda, can you tell me about the, the what changes you guys made on the skill tree and everything um, to enhance it? Well, now uh, all the six classes, mm -hmm. I mean, each class has, uh, has their own skill tree. Uh, and each class has two skill trees, like one for the active skills. And it's, it's, uh, it's totally unique and it is something what we fully changed from mm -hmm. the basics in the third game and uh, and of course they also have uh, passive skills 
here. So uh, skill tree, which called the auras, uh, mm -hmm. where you can give uh, bonuses, uh, which are not. Uh, uh, so you can use them in the combat. Right. And and uh, in the battle, I just want I just want to tell you, <laughs> in the battle you can uh, you can uh, use eight skills at the same time. Right. So. Yeah. So huge improvement. Now, now, not only does the classes got improvement, but Katarina also has an improvement too. Like yeah. she showed me, yeah. she has she has more stuff now. She could do more yeah. things now. Yeah, yeah. Can you talk has, about that? Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> she has uh, three uh, skill trees now, mm -hmm. so uh, so she's uh, she's definitely improved now, and uh, and she can wear equipment. Uh, mm -hmm. It was. Almost the same in the first and the and the second part, because now she she got uh, Katarina only equipment, so so they are bonded to her, and uh, you can uh, set uh, strategies for Katarina, of right. course, uh, tactics for Katarina, so you can just uh, set up her behave that that she can defend you, assist you. <laughs> Yeah, she, she, you can send her uh, for shopping mm -hmm. back to the village. So yeah. Um, and don't forget, well, we shouldn't forget that you can also set sort of behavioral patterns, um, right. which means that, for example, you can tell Katarina to collect the loot you don't want to collect. She would. She, you can you can tell her which kind of loot you want uh, her uh, to to gather like. Only rare items, only gold, mm -hmm. potions. It's really up to you. So she doesn't do her own thing anymore. She like follows literally what you tell her to do. Uh, yeah, you can give her very specific orders. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. really cool. And now you know, since we're in the Katarina subject, <laughs> we, you know, you you've told me that we were now gonna explore more about Katarina because finally. <laughs> we fi yeah finally because a lot of people were like, who is yeah. this? Why should I care about her? Why is she so important? And now, now we're at a point where we're going to explore more of her. Tell me about that. Well, I don't really want to spoil anything. <laughs> right, right, right. I can, right, only, right, tell, I can only tell you that um, we are we are going to hear and see some things from her past, uh, which will be just as new for us as for Van Helsing. Mm -hmm. So we have whole levels dedicated to her background story, and that's all. I could say, I could say <laughs> next time. <laughs> I can't blame you for that. And of course, for the people who are returning um, from Van Helsing, everything is the same, right? Like the, the, there's returning for the, the, the tower defense is coming back, yes. the resistance um, management, management is coming yeah. back, and everything else is coming back and whatnot. Yeah, everything, everything is here. Mm -hmm. Everything, uh, well, we kept everything where we had to improve things. We improved mm -hmm. those issues we balanced out um, we balanced out the elements that we, that needed some uh, some tinkering with so I think that that everyone who's familiar with, with Van Helsing uh, will find well the game he or she was looking for and those who didn't play the first two parts well you don't have to um, you can jump right in you can pick up the, your quests and go on adventuring. Nice. All right, so before I let you guys go, one last question. It's usually the most important one. When and where is this game going to be available, and how can I get my hands on this game? <laughs> well, I will send you a, a key. <laughs> no, 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 for the, for the people out there. <laughs> how can we get our hands on this game? <laughs> okay, so, uh, so the game will be released Late, mm -hmm. May late May on May, Steam right. for PC and later uh, uh, for Mac and uh, yeah and the counter support support is coming too. All right, and I understand like you told me of, of course off camera that there's going to be something special for people who have the trilogy, right? Yeah, sure. So we don't want to release the assets for uh, the third game, but uh, we will we will release some additional free content which will be available for those who. 
there you go. Thank you very much, you guys. Thank, Thank you, you for much. joining me. Guys, remember, when you guys you guys have to check this out. When you guys get it, get the whole trilogy. It's honestly one of the best action RPGs out there to play. I personally cannot wait for it. I, like, I'm, I'm jittery because I'm excited. I, can't, I honestly cannot wait for it. So make sure you guys put this on your calendar at the end of May. And for more stuff like this, head over to GamersPack.com for a more detailed preview. And, of course, the interview of the whole game. Trust me, it's it's mind-blowing. It's really good. Thank you very much for, jo for joining mm -hmm. me for this, man. Thank you. This is really cool. Thank you very Thank much, you. you guys. All right, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.